What do you call a guy laid on a porch? Matt. <laughs> Right, so hello again everybody and welcome back. Today we're going to be taking a look at a desk. Yeah, a desk. Now I know this video is not going to appeal to a lot of people, but it's something I found pretty interesting and wanted one personally. Right, so that being said, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and let's crack on. Right, so a little disclaimer is this desk was sent to me free of charge but this will be an honest review with my personal opinions. Now this is the YoYo Desk Pro 2 and it's from sitstand.com and I've been using it for a few weeks now so I've kind of experienced everything with it and what I want you to do is comment down below what you would use a desk like this for and if you are interested in looking at this desk or any desks that they do I will leave links in the description down below. Now there are a couple of reasons why I'd want to use this desk and I will explain them later. So this is a motorised desk that allows you to work while you're sitting down, standing up and it allows you to adjust the height of it just from using a little panel on the side. This is the panel here and I think it goes from 60 centimetres up to around 120 centimetres and it just keeps going and going. As you can see that's me sitting down, it does go pretty high. And then you can keep going down and going down. I'm not going to keep waiting. And it goes down to about this height here. Now I opted for an upgraded mechanism or panel or whatever you want to call it. But the standard one does do the job well as well. But you have got three different buttons here. So you've got one, two and three. And then you've also got an S button which is save. And you can save different presets or different heights to those numbers. So if you've got different people that like to use the desk, they can just keep the finger on their number and then it will adjust to that height. So the desk that I went for is 140 centimeters wide by 80 centimeters deep. Now usually your kitchen worktops and normal worktops are around 60 centimeters deep, so it is quite a big space. But let's be honest, there's a lot of room to put shit on. Now it has got a steel frame. And it's a white steel frame that I went for and this has got the mechanism inside so the legs lift up and go back down. And I've got to be honest, it's a lot sturdier than I expected. Now if I just go over here now and I pull it around and don't forget this is quite high now. So we're at around halfway high. Can see it is quite sturdy. And I did get the youngest daughter, I said give it a yank, see if you can pull it over. And she were tugging it and it were really sturdy and that's one thing that surprised me. Now the frames do come in three different colours. I think it's white, grey and black. And then obviously for the colours of the desktop itself, there's loads of different things you can choose from. Another thing that a lot of people do ask about is how loud is it? And there is a noise, granted. But I don't know if you can hear that, but it's not that loud. It's more like a little buzzing or humming sound. And that desk can lift up to 100 kilograms, so it can hold quite a lot of stuff. I also got it with a cable management tray underneath. It's not something I'm going to use personally because I have got a wire running across it and then there's obviously a wire for the desk. But they do run into an extension down there, whereas if I had a socket in the middle, I would probably use the cable tray. But that's just an added extra and a lot of people may not use it. And you're also going to see in either corner, you have got a hole where you can feed wires through. And I went for the chrome looking plates, but there are a few different options. I just like the look of chrome. It's just somewhere to run your wires through. So yeah, it does the job it's intended to do. I work at a desk pretty much all the time now. And this is where back issues can be a problem. But I won't be putting my full PC setup onto that desk. And there's a reason for that I'll explain in a moment. But I also do work on the laptop, so... If I do feel like I want to stand up and do something, I've got that option. Right, so to give you a bit of a look of how high it is, I'm between 6 foot 2 or 6 foot 3, and this is me stood next to it. So as you can see, that would be a perfect height for me. And I also think they do another model that goes even higher. And I'm not sure why you'd need one that went higher than that. But like I said, the reason that I'm using the desk mainly is because I wanted a review desk. I wanted to be able to do unboxings, showcase different things, and be able to show stuff on a better background or a better surface. And that's where it appealed to me. I also have kids, and they absolutely love this desk. As I said, it can lift up to 100 kilograms. The youngest daughter, she just gets on it. 
And she'll just start pressing the up button, wait till she gets to the top, start pressing the down button and come back down. Sometimes I don't even know she's in here and I'll come in and I'll just see her on it and using it like she's at a fun fair. <laughs> but obviously that's not a reason why you'd buy it, but that's just one reason why they love it. And then another good thing we could use it for at the beginning of next year when we have the child is a baby changing table. Although I don't think white is the best colour for that. <laughs> Right, so yeah, I've got to say, when it comes to height adjusting desks, this has got to be one of the premium ones, because I'm guessing if I got one from China, it'd just snap or something, or you'd know something would break on it, the panel wouldn't work, or I don't know. But the price does reflect that, and I'm going to tell you the price in a moment. But there are a couple of things that could be added or modified to make it more friendly to a lot more users. So this desk isn't really targeted at someone who's... Just got a little desk and just goes on the PC every now and again. Obviously, it, nobody's going to buy one of these for that purpose. I think it's more targeted towards people that work from home, so they're always doing work at a desk or in an office, and maybe even baby changing rooms. I don't know. It's something they could look into in the future. <laughs> but like I said, I will be using this desk as a review desk because I don't know why. I like it. And I like the fact that I can adjust the height. I don't know why. It just allows me to get different lighting. It allows me to get different camera angles. And it's a big surface, so I'm not limited to what I can put on there. So that's the reason why it appeals to me and why I wanted one. So what I'd like to see different on the desk is... You're going to see the up and down buttons on the panel. If I keep clicking and holding up, sometimes it stops doing it on its own. Now I don't know if that's because I start to put less pressure on it as it goes up, but that is one thing that I have noticed with it. Another thing I would like to see is, you're going to see the cables obviously running down there. Now what I'd like to see is some built-in sockets so you could actually plug stuff into the desk and then there could be a cable inside the leg that goes up and down just to save you having these wires hanging here. And also, if the desk is going to be moving up and down, you've got to compensate that with the amount of wire that you've got free. So obviously, if you've got the desk at the bottom and you've got it plugged in real tight and then you try putting it up, it sh shit's just going to go everywhere, isn't it? <laughs> but apart from that, it's brilliant and it's going to do the job what I want it to do perfectly. Right, so when it comes to pricing, they're pretty expensive. They're around... Well, the start price is around £450. I think the one I've got is 500 But I wanted this one because I wanted a premium desk rather than a cheap £80 one that's dog shit. I don't even know if you can get them for £80, but I wanted one that was going to last. It does come with free fitting as well, so you don't have to think about trying to set it up. I hate putting stuff up. I ate flat pack as well. I ate anything like that. So it was nice that it did come with free fitting. And another couple of things it did come with is a couple of mats. Well, one was a yo-yo board, and it's like a curved board. And I think this is just to keep your legs moving. My youngest daughter uses it like a surfboard. I'd probably fall off it, twist my ankle or break my neck. But I'm guessing if this kind of desk appeals to you, then you'd know why you'd use one of these boards. <laughs> and then they also do like four mats as well. And that's something that you'd have more in office, I think. But yeah, that's a desk. I don't know how to review a desk. And like I said, they did send it out free of charge, but that hasn't affected my review or my opinion of it. And all in all, I am happy with it. Yes, it may not appeal to a lot of you, but I would like to see in the comments section what you would use one of these desks for. Right, I'm glad that one's out of the way because we're reviewing a desk. Wow. <laughs> right, so that being said, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below, and I'll see you soon. Ta-da!